Diabetes is a condition where the amount of glucose in the blood is too high because the body cannot use it properly. Glucose comes from the digestion of carbohydrate containing food and drink and is also produced in the liver. Carbohydrates come from many different sources including starchy foods such as bread, potatoes, fruit, dairy products, sugar and other sweet foods. Insulin is vital for life. It's a hormone produced by the pancreas and helps the glucose to enter the cells where it's used as a fuel for energy so we can work, play and generally live our lives. There are two types of diabetes. These are type 1 diabetes and type 2 diabetes. Type 1 diabetes develops if the body is unable to produce any insulin. This type of diabetes usually appears before the age of 40. Type 1 diabetes is the least common of the two main types and accounts for between 5 and 15% of people with diabetes. You cannot prevent type 1 diabetes. Type 2 diabetes develops when the body still can make some insulin but not enough or when the insulin that is produced does not work properly, also known as insulin resistance. In most cases this is linked with being overweight. This type of diabetes usually appears in people over the age of 40, although people from Southern Asia or Afro-Caribbean people can often appear in from the age of 25. Recently, more and more children are being diagnosed with the condition, some as young as the age of 7. Type, type, type 2 diabetes is the most common of the two main types and accounts for between 85 and 95% of the people with diabetes. There's currently 2.5 million people in the UK with diabetes and there's a further half a million people that's estimated who haven't even been diagnosed yet. The signs and symptoms are increased thirst, frequent urination, extreme tiredness, weight loss, blurred vision and a slow healing of wounds. In type 1 diabetes the signs and symptoms will usually be very obvious. They develop quickly, usually over a few weeks. In people with type 2 diabetes, the signs and symptoms will not be so obvious and maybe even non-existent. If you're getting older, you may just put the symptoms down to the fact that you're getting older and you're just an age-related thing. But you must take early action, consult your doctor and have a diabetes test. In both types of diabetes, the symptoms are quickly relieved once the diabetes has been treated. Early treatment will also reduce the chance of developing any serious health conditions. Hyperglycemia to high blood sugar, we need to look here and identify that we've got an emergency medical condition and we must call the emergency services immediately. If the patient becomes unconscious, we need to put them into the recovery position. And in all cases, we must monitor their breathing and their response levels. Hypoglycemia means there's too low blood sugar. We need to sit the casualty down, give them a sugary drink or sweet food, but we only do this if it's safe to do so as we don't want to cause any problems with um, blocking the airway. We need to monitor and reassure them. And we only need to call the ambulance if this treatment has been ineffective. If the patient becomes unconscious, we need to put them in a recovery position, monitor them and also ensure the ambulance has been called. We've spoken about things you can give to a diabetic. Now there are commercial supplements you can buy and often the diabetic would actually carry these. Before we talk about those, the most important thing we need to look at, insulin is not a first aid drug. It's not something where you just go around injecting people because they're having a diabetic emergency. Even if the diabetic is insisting that they, have, they get their syringe they want to inject, sometimes if they are, have got a very bad balance of sugar, they're not the best person to talk to. They may um, not realise quite what they're doing and they may well give themselves insulin because they forgot it. But if this is the case, this is an emergency, we need to get them to the, the paramedics as quick as possible. Now, there's different sorts of supplements available. This particular one here is a glucose um, a liquid and you just open the top up and they can drink that down and it gives them instant glucose. There's also glucose tablets, um, either in a plastic tube like this or in a normal sweet type tube. There's also glucose gel. Sometimes uh, diabetics will have them and it uh, opens up like a, a packet of sugar you would have in a um, uh, restaurant, tear the top and then they can put it into their mouth and drink the gel. These commercial supplements are very, very good. They're easy ways of them uh, keeping hold of uh, glucose when they need it. 
and they're very fastly absorbed into the body.